me to put that on first. Okay, let's go. Hi, my name is Jessica Reynolds, and I'm turning 50 today. For my 50th birthday, I'm starting a running 50 challenge to run 50 miles a week for 50 weeks and finish both a 50 kilometer ultramarathon and a 50 mile ultramarathon before my 51st birthday. Fifty miles a week for fifty weeks is two thousand five hundred miles, and adding in the mileage of the ultra marathons is another eighty one miles. So the running fifty challenge means that I will be running at least two thousand five hundred and eighty one miles this year. Two thousand five hundred and eighty one miles is basically like running the distance from San Francisco to New York. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, to meet my running 50 challenge of 2,581 miles, I'm planning on running close to an average of 7.15 miles every day. I'm planning to post a weekly vlog to document my week, my mileage, my experiences, and my journey as I'm running 50, and a few extras about just running in general. So, barring severe injury or crazy falls or rest days after big long runs, I will be running every day. And that means I'm running everywhere. I'm excited and a little nervous to be training for my very first ultra marathon. Actually, my very first ultra marathons. Running off-road and exploring some really great trails will be a highlight of my effort to complete this challenge and train for my ultra marathons. I'm not new to running, I'm returned to running. Starting this crazy project now really starts with actually me turning 40 and when I turned 40 I kind of realized I was not happy with my health and my weight which I think happens to a lot of 40 year old women <laughs> not the only one and so I started running again as a way to get healthier and lose some weight I did a lot of things with my diet too 
and the kind of short story there is I turned 40 and ended up losing 50 pounds, which was great. And as part of that, I did a lot of running <laughs> and it was really hard. And I started with just a little running and I really slowly, slowly built up my miles. But each time it was a super major accomplishment to get to that next amount of miles. So I ran cross country and track. And track, I actually ran distance races and even. And I liked it a lot, and I ran it in college too, but in college I got hurt. Um, and basically stopped. My college running injury was actually pretty bad. Um, I ended up having like 15 stress fractures in my femur, which is pretty dangerous because, you know, like if your femur basically splinters apart, that's bad. After I had that horrible injury and I was running again, I decided to enter the California International Marathon in Sacramento with basically, not even basically, with no training for a marathon because I did, I was running cross country again, but in girls cross country, the race is three miles. So even on a long training run, you probably only run six miles. So nowhere near 26 miles. And so I did run it and I did finish it, but I basically re-injured my leg and I sort of never ran again until 10 years ago. been good on camera. So the, that year, the Sacramento International Marathon, it was raining like the whole time. And so if that didn't make it miserable enough, I basically limped the entire race <laughs> and um, my parents came to watch the race they came to every meet and everything they loved they loved watching except this time I was limping that my mom kind of famously screamed when she saw me at one of the places they had stopped along the route, screamed to my dad, Zach, Zach, pull around the race, with this really high-pitched scream that everyone <laughs> could hear. Anyway, he didn't pull me out of the race, I kept going, but I was 20 and I then basically never ran again until I was turned 40 and started running again. So I didn't run for 20 years and now I run every day, many miles. In 2018, after I had 
been running races and running a lot, I had decided to do try another marathon. And so it would be my first marathon in 27 years. And so I entered the Oakland Marathon and I ran a great race, actually. I had, I had a PR, which is not hard to do because obviously <laughs> this is kind of my first one. And I qualified for Boston in my first marathon. So that was pretty exciting. That's when I decided I was a runner. Boston was such a huge highlight in my running and in my life, actually. And I'm really proud of it. It was a little bit bittersweet because my dad was planning on going <laughs> um, to watch and was super excited about that looking forward to it and then when things changed and he got his brain cancer he was at least gonna try and watch it you know even if he couldn't go but unfortunately he didn't make it to do that so that was a little bit of a bittersweet moment you know I'm gonna cry so can you stop <laughs> Please stop filming. Hold on, I need a minute. Okay. And all of that has led me here to my 50th birthday and the Running 50 Challenge. This is gonna be fun and real. Please subscribe to follow me on this journey and maybe finding your own challenge during the next 50 weeks and beyond. Okay, let's go.